Buongiorno. I have just arrived in Camogli, which is about 30 minutes south south along the coast um, away from Genoa. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited to explore. I just checked into my hotel, Il Pescheroro, the goldfish, I think. And uh, it's a cute little, it's kind of like B&B. &B. She had to meet me here, so that's why I came straight here instead of doing a little exploring first. I'm also gonna change my shoes because I'm doing a lot of walking, so I'm gonna put some sneakers on so we can do a little bit more walking and go and head out and check out the beach. And I think maybe it's time for an aperitivo facing out on the, uh, on the boardwalk, because why not? Hi, I'm Laura Bronner. If you're just joining me on this adventure, I'm currently exploring the Italian Riviera. The trip started in Genoa, where I explored for a few days, ate an abundance of focaccia, and wandered through the winding medieval streets. The trip has only really just gotten started. Now I'm in the town which I called Camogli for this entire vlog, <laughs> before learning that it's actually pronounced Camoli. Located about 30 minutes east along the coast from Genoa, I didn't know it at the time, but this little town would become one of the best stops I made on this entire trip. Before we head out, let me just give you a quick little tour of this place. It cost me a hundred and just under $150 for two nights, uh, so about $75 per night, which is more expensive than some of the other places I found, but this place is right in the center of town. I walked from the train station, it took me like six minutes. <laughs> it's on the main street, which is pedestrian-ish. I didn't see any cars other than the bus that came down the road, uh, but the this room faces in, so it doesn't face out on the road anyway. Uh, and a few of the other places I found that were a little bit cheaper were further away. Like, they're better if you're driving here, but if you're here and you're just taking the train in and out and you're not <laughs> renting a car or anything, the this is one of the better options. There are a few hotels around here, but I booked a week ago. <laughs> so uh, if you're planning this trip, further in advance, a few months in advance, you'll definitely get uh, better options. But again, let me show you. The woman who checked me in was super nice and uh, it looks pretty comfy. So you come into the room and you have this big bed. You have the closet, which I have just put a few things away in so I could find my shoes. <laughs> it does not come with this beer. I brought that. But it does come with some sort of like breakfast stuff. You've got like bread rolls and jam. Uh, coffee. There's actually a coffee machine outside in the hallway. Let me show you. So you have this little breakfast area, including a coffee machine, a fridge to store whatever you'd like in it, and a microwave. Then I have my own private bathroom, which I have a key to. So although it's not in the room, I'm the only one using it. It was all very clean and quiet both during the day and at night. And I just realized you get a little peek at the sea from here. Let's let me show you my view out the window. Look at that. And that beautiful building as well. It was already early afternoon by the time I headed out to explore Camoli. I was only a block away from the beach, so I headed down towards the main promenade to take in the views of the beach. It was still a little bit rainy and cloudy, but the town still looked pretty beautiful. Just as the sun was starting to set, the clouds and rain cleared and we had the most incredible light along the beach. It felt like the right time for a little aperitif, followed by dinner and dessert. It was the perfect first day in this little seaside town. day i am exhausted but that meal i needed to debrief with you <laughs> because that meal was insanely good the pasta it was called like tagliolini i think and it was like skinny like spaghetti but flat like tagliatelli and it was just so good with those clams and then i thought i've got a little bit of room left so i had the panna cotta 
when I say that this is the best panna cotta, the best like cream based dessert that I've ever eaten, <laughs> the caramel on top was thick and sticky, but it wasn't like hard. It was so insane. And the panna cotta was so creamy. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it was amazing. So I highly recommend checking out that restaurant. I will link the location in the description below. It was so delicious. Now it's time to get some sleep. I am wrecked. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Today I am headed out to San Fruttuoso. Uh, it's the main reason that I'm staying in Camogli in the first place. San Fruttuoso is like a little village that you can only get to either by boat or by hiking. So I'm gonna hike there possibly get a boat back, I'm not sure, but it should take about two to two and a half hours. So I'm prepared to sort of go there, have lunch, enjoy the beach, and then hike back if there's no ferry. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it. It's supposed to be so beautiful. We are here and we're gonna go to San Rocco and then, I don't know. And we want to go all the way to San Fruttoso. Hmm. So there's only one trail. Ooh, it's a bit slick. <laughs> there's only one trail to San Rocco, uh, but it's labeled as the two trails so you've got the red circle and the two red dots those are two separate trails at san rocco they split i'm already out of breath the i'm gonna take the red circle this is the inland hike it's a little bit flatter um, it's more forest walk the two red dots is much more difficult it goes along the coastline but it's really only recommended for people who are like expert hikers there's a part of the walk that's like pretty dicey some people actually like turn around because they don't realize how difficult it is it's like on a cliff edge you have to hold on to these Whew. we had altitude <laughs> it's on like a cliff edge and you have to hold on to these chains in order to like get across so i might be interested in it if i were hiking with some other people but since i'm traveling solo i'm gonna take the safe option <laughs> about 40 minutes, I made it to the village of San Rocco, where I wandered into the local cafe for a cappuccino and then soaked in the views before heading further on my way. This is so peaceful. <laughs> I've met one other set of hikers, two women from Germany, and we were just like, this is amazing. There's no one else here. And now I'm on my own again. Still going up. <laughs> I don't know how we're coming back down to the beach eventually, but we're going a lot of climbing. But it's so beautiful. There's olive trees everywhere. The path is like stony because it's been raining. They're a little bit slick, so you definitely want to have sturdy footwear, especially if you're hiking in the spring. This weather is ideal. I wouldn't want to do this in summertime because it's already like pretty warm. I mean, you can see I'm sweating, but. It's so beautiful. Yeah, spring. It's the time to come to Kamogli. I reached a sort of junction where you turn to keep following the red circle and it joins up with the red square <laughs> trail. And there's a few more people on the trail now. So I'm not sure where that one starts, maybe from a parking lot a little bit higher up. But sun is out. We're still sort of in the woods. When I did that turn about five minutes ago, it said, San Frutuoso is about an hour and a quarter away, so I've been walking, if I don't include my stop <laughs> in San Rocco for a coffee, I've been walking for about an hour, so that's about right, two and a, two and a quarter hour, two and a half hours, plus stops. Now I've got coast on my left here, so beautiful. <laughs> oh man, the air is so fresh, so nice, sun's out. We're coming out of the wilderness now and out into this view. Can you see it? 
Oh, I'm so excited. I think we're almost there. I've been going downhill for about 25 minutes, maybe, maybe 20 minutes. And uh, I think we're about to head into the cove of San Fruttuoso. I'm hungry. After about two and a half hours, I finally made it to San Fruttuoso. The color of the water was so bright, so turquoise. The sky was so incredibly blue. This was the first really sunny day of my trip and it felt like everything had aligned to make this such a special moment. Unfortunately, because it was still only early April and it was a Monday, all of the restaurants were closed. And in fact, there was only one more ferry going back to Kamoli and it was about to leave. I had just enough time to sit on the beach for a few minutes, snap some photos, drink the rest of my water and run down to the dock to get the boat. I highly recommend taking the ferry in one of the directions if you do plan to do this hike. The ferry timetables change monthly, but are much more frequent during the summer months. They're always posted at the piers, either in Camoli or in San Frutuoso. The views as you leave San Frutuoso were some of the best, and simply zipping along the coastline with the wind in my hair and pulling into Camoli from a distance were some of my favorite memories from this day out. Been sitting on the beach, relaxing. I had some focaccia. It's so sunny and warm. And reading my book. What a life. La dolce vita is right. <laughs> What a combo. After all that walking, I was absolutely exhausted. I had a quiet night in and fell asleep outrageously early in order to wake up and enjoy another day in the Italian Riviera. I have absolutely loved my time in this little town. Look at this. It's just about nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> and uh, sitting in the sunshine on the beach, the sound of the waves. Oh, it's such a quiet, cute little fishing town with uh, tourists on the weekend, but I highly recommend coming during the week if you can. It's so beautiful and quiet and calm, especially in the springtime. I'm sure it's much busier in the summertime when uh, there's school breaks and, and there's more Italian families here having vacation, but uh, what a place. I enjoyed my hike yesterday and the ferry ride was so beautiful. So I highly recommend at least getting out on the ferries. It was uh, about 10 euros one way, but I think it's cheaper if you do a round trip. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video as I head further along the coast to see more of this incredible Italian Riviera. See you next time. Bye.